Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Lilac Pruning 101. I am in front of my lilacs that have just finished blooming and after they finish blooming is the time you are supposed to prune them because they set buds like azaleas and they are. Uh, they are kind of taking over and are getting a little bit unsightly looking. I definitely want to take down and shape them so that they are a little bit more in control. So there are leftover buds or blooms that are done. And the crazy thing about lilacs is in the center of them, they are bare. So if I were to come in and cut them crazy hard, we're gonna have a lot of sticks. So I don't want to do that. So I am going to selectively prune. Selective pruning is where you are not taking hedge clippers and just cutting them. I could do that, but I, I choose to hand prune these. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to make cuts using my pruners. Um, I want to never ever take more than a third of the plant off. That's, with, that's the uh, rule of thumb with pruning. And so I'm going to stick with that rule here. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm going to make pruning cuts. Let me get my pruners. So I have these new Fisker pruners that I got. And what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that I am holding the pruner properly. So these are called bypass or anvil pruners, anvil. Uh, and this is, this is how you hold them. Usually they have little ridges for your fingers to go. And I am going to come in and I am going to look for, I'm gonna just clip off a branch so I can show you not in a bunch of greenery. So I try to come in and prune right above where there's a set of leaves. However, on a job this size, I'm not going to take that much time. You can, if it's one, maybe, but I'm just gonna come in here and make cuts. Uh, and then I may go back in and clean it up if it looks bad, but typically I have fine results with that. Um, but remember, rule of thumb, don't ever take more than a third of the plant off, whatever you're pruning. Lilacs, you want to prune right after they're, they've bloomed, which is late spring before summer. And so right now is a great time to do that. And then we want to be very mindful anytime we are pruning. We want to make a cut, step back, make sure you're not taking too much off, making the the tree look like this or the plant look like this where you've got one limb coming out and then you've made it wop-sided so you have to cut the other side and then before long you have nothing left. Trust me, you want to do this. You want to prune, make a, make a decision, step back, look at it, prune some more, step back, make sure it looks good. That is how I like to prune. I just want to make sure that I am doing the best that I can. I want to make sure I am not bushering the plant. I want to make sure that I am uh, pruning nicely so that the you kind of don't want to tell that you've pruned okay first I'm going to start with the height because it's more it's important for me to bring it down so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make some pretty bold cuts and then I'm gonna step back and say okay yeah I like that let me so then once you get it down to the height you want it to be then you're sort of just shaping and making sure that it's not too crazy. So I still want to separate between the two. So I'm going to make sure that I'm doing that as well. And I'm cutting off the old blooms. See how we're kind of getting it in shape? And you, when you prune, unless you have a specific look that you're going for you want to study the shape of the plant its natural growth you don't want to change that boxes squares yes in a formal landscape that's fine but typically you want to make it look the way it's supposed to look otherwise the way it's naturally growing otherwise you're constantly going to be fighting the pruning now as i said there are one-offs like english garden where you want like hedges that sort of thing and you're pruning the say boxwood hedge in a square yes that's perfectly fine but if you just have a shrub in your landscape you want to really step back and study the way that it's growing 
the way that it's growing. So you can kind of see these are sort of a rounded shape and they are, so they're a natural ball. And so I'm not going to come in and give it a flat top. I'm not going to make it boxy. I'm just keeping with the natural shape in every prune that I make, I'm keeping it in a rounded. So, so just imagine an imaginary line and that's how I'm pruning. So you always want to study your plants. So the limelights, they're the green in the middle of the flowers. Okay, those are kind of growing in a vase shape. So as you can see, the bottom is narrow and then it fans out. So I wouldn't come in and cut the sides off. I'm going to keep with the shape of the vase. I hope that makes sense to you. This one, I am going to keep in a rounded shape, not a ball, not trying to make a ball, but I am going to kind of keep it in a rounded shape, okay? So I'm going to start pruning a little bit more. I'll put some music on and we'll go to town. Okay, so I wanna show you something. So a lilac is empty in the center. The leaves will flush out, but right now it does look a little bare here. So I'm okay with that because I do know it's going to fill in. Um, right now it looks a little bit wopsided as well. I don't know if you can see, it kind of looks like it's going down at an angle. I am going to prune down here to help alleviate that look. I'm going to cut this back. Uh, but I do want to give room for the mailbox. So I'm just going to make a couple cuts right in here. All right, let's go look at it. The back is a little bit higher. This will fill in so it won't look like that but as you can see the center is out of it here so i'm going to let these fill in probably won't take two or three weeks and we will be cooking with gas everything will be okay so i'm going to knock this one out and then we will call it a day okay so i'm on the mission to prune and I want my shrubs to look even. However, I love animals more than most anything. And I don't know if you can see, hold on. Right there is a beautiful bird's nest that looks like it's just been built. So I am going to prune around a little bit, but I am not going to continue to prune heavily until I'm sure that that nest is not new. So I'm just gonna tidy up the back, tidy up this side and we'll call it a day. As you can see, finished pruning. Uh, this side obviously is a little bit bigger than the other side because we, we do have a bird nest in there. However, I will come in and I don't think they're gonna come back because it's exposed. We are done, I'm done. I'm gonna go and cut the grass and get some stuff planted in my garden. So stay tuned for other videos. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that I showed you in good detail. Just remember, never take a more than a third of your plant off. Always study the shape of the plant, whatever it is that you're pruning, and try and prune it in its natural state. And be sure that you are watching the right time to prune, like this lilac after it blooms, okay? I hope you have a chance to get out, get your hands dirty, enjoy the weather, and I will see you in another video soon. Take care.